Hi, welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of several Tudor history books. Now today I'm taking you back to the reign of King Henry VIII again. For On This Day in Tudor History, Saturday the 4th of February 1520, in the reign of King Henry VIII, Mary Boleyn, sister of Anne Boleyn, got married to William Carey in the Chapel Royal at Greenwich Palace. And we know that King Henry VIII attended the ceremony and that he made an offering of six shillings, eight pence at the service because this is recorded in the 1520 King's Book of Payments. But unfortunately, we don't have any further details of the wedding. We don't know what they wore, anything about the wedding at all, but how amazing to get married in the Chapel Royal at Greenwich Palace. Now the marriage was a good match for both the bride and groom. Mary was the daughter of Thomas Boleyn, Henry VIII's ambassador at the French court and a man who was a royal favourite. And her mother was Elizabeth Howard, daughter of Thomas Howard, second Duke of Norfolk. The bridegroom, William Carey, was a member of Henry VIII's privy chamber and an esquire of the body. And he was descended from King Edward III. Carey's maternal grandmother was also cousin to Henry VIII's paternal grandmother, Margaret Beaufort, so royal links there. And both families must have been very pleased with this marriage match. The couple would have lodged at court after their wedding, allowing Carey to continue his duties serving the king. And they both attended the Field of Cloth of Gold in June 1520, serving the king and his queen consort, Catherine of Aragon, there. The couple went on to have two children, Catherine Carey, born in around 1524, and Henry Carey, born in 1526. Although it is often said that Mary's children were actually fathered by King Henry VIII and not William Carey, there is actually no firm historical evidence for this. All we know for sure is that Henry VIII slept with Mary at some point. We don't know when. We don't know how long their affair was for. We don't know anything about it. Henry VIII may well have slept with Mary before February 1520 and then arranged her marriage with his loyal servant, William Carey, after he'd finished with her rather than sleeping with her as a married woman. We just don't know, but we know that that's how it worked with Elizabeth Blunt or Bessie Blunt. When King Henry VIII had finished with her, he arranged a good marriage for her uh, with Gay Gilbert Tailboys. William Carey died in June 1528 of sweating sickness and Mary married again in 1534, taking William Stafford as her second husband. Mary died on the 19th of July, 1543. Now I've done a Mary Boleyn playlist or video talks that I've done on her. So I'll give you a link to that so you can find out more about her. But uh, she's frustratingly a rather shadowy figure, uh, but of course is uh, one of uh, Tudor history's favorite figures um, because she's been used as a blank canvas uh, in fiction such as The Other Boleyn Girl by Philippa Gregory. So lots of people are very interested in Mary Boleyn and her life and the life of her children as well, who both went on to faithfully serve uh, their cousin, Queen Elizabeth I. So I'll give you a link to that playlist so you can find out a bit more about her. I'll also give you a link to another On This Day in Tudor History event, uh, my last year's talk for you to enjoy that. So, uh, so yes, lots of Tudor history for you to enjoy. You can subscribe by clicking round about there. You can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live. You can leave a comment if you want, and you can also give me a like if you've enjoyed this talk. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.